these pike box handstand holds are gonna be a regression on our chest -to wall or pike chest -to wall handstand hold in order to support or put less stress on our body in order to get in the vertical position and work on our actual positions. So the setup here is gonna be the exact same in terms of all the points of performance that we covered in the previous video on chest -to wall handstands. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a box. I have no idea how high this is. It really doesn't matter. The lower the box is, the less weight we're putting on our hands, the higher we put our feet up, the more weight we're gonna put on our hands until essentially or eventually we're in a vertical position here. So I'm using a low box, whatever the height is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk my feet back as far as I can get. And if you have tight hamstrings, you can bend them here. It's not, um, it's not necessary to keep the knees straight here because we're trying to get in as a vertical or as piked as a position as possible here where our wrists are in line with our shoulders. And if in fact we can't walk our hands close enough back because our hamstrings are limiting us, simply bend the knees. So walking back, walking back. Now in this position, I'm pushing away from the floor, looking between my hands. I want to have eventually or essentially a straight line from my wrist to my shoulders. Focus on quality over quantity. Don't rush this either. Um, err on the side of um, an easier variation but focusing more on quality as opposed to trying to build up to a higher box too quickly. And then once you're, you're comfortable at a lower box, simply build up that box until eventually your hips are in the same position as they would be for those pike chest walls.